And normally the program set that it's a thousand meters and then into the 500. So normally you go, oh yes, I only got to race half the distance. But now I definitely want to go to an Olympic Games and race two events again. Uh, what two events is, I'm not too sure. I definitely want to go back into K1000 and try and make that bronze into gold. But yeah, you know, it's uh, with K4 now on the board and being possible to do it. It's uh, yeah, it's good winning with other people. Like you get to share that share that moment with people and. I kind of have a race. I have a race plan that I stuck to, so I just try and kind of pick it up each 250 and got to the 500 and still felt pretty good. So I just tried to keep giving it to myself. It was, it was hard with no one next to me, but I just tried to keep pushing it harder each 250. I was a bit gutted on the start line. I mean, you always want a race. You don't want to, you know, if you get out in front, it looks really good, but without anyone next to you, you don't really know how much harder you could have pushed it. And Jo's paddling really well. She's an awesome paddler, so I'm sure she would have. She would have been a bit like right there. So. Yeah, who knows how fast she would have gone, so it was a shame to not get to put myself against her and see how I was going as well. Some good racing and be able to do a thousand metres in uh, really good conditions, uh, good starts, and just nail it. So, because it's, you know, all, all buoyed, so we can really f find a you know, good rhythm and timing and kind of get a race plan put together. So. For us, it's a good sort of start. Just shows the selectors what we can do as a pair, um, and then we'll basically go from there. I'll pretty much try and get in the boat with him again. Try and maintain. But yeah, it's looking pretty optimistic with the 200 and the 1,000. Being able to win both events is pretty, pretty special. Such a good 